I'm Super Mario Beam here. Welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get um, emulators for your iPod Touch or iPhone. Uh, you will need a jailbroken device for this. Sorry um, for that, but jailbroken devices are fairly easy to get. They're not too hard, um, and they're definitely worth it. It's um, definitely a lot better than any other Apple like Apple software. Um, so first off, what you want to do is you want to go straight into Cydia and let it load up. Okay, so then we'll go into this thing and you can just cancel um, the update thing up here so just cancel I'll let that all load then what you want to do is you want to go down here to search oh first you'll need to go to manage sources and you want to go to edit and click add and add the source Cydia Sorry, Cydia dot XLIs dot com. So the source that's on your screen right now is the source that you want to add to um to Cydia. Cydia. So uh, then just hit add source. I've already got this source, so I'm gonna press cancel. But you'll press add source. So cancel for me. Um, so then you should get, uh, down here you should get one, um, this one here, cityrxlis.com, here and that should have everything that you need. So then you want to go into search and type in for the, uh, what should we do in this one, I can going do NES, so um, you want to go NES. And then A D X plus. So it should pop up after you just put N E S A. Um, and what you want to get is the one with that cross symbol down the bottom here, this one here. The one that's got my little uh, check next to it. You want to get that one because it's a cracked version, so it's free. And this one, this is the actual guy who made it, his version, and you need to pay for it. It's, uh, I don't remember how much actually is, but you need to pay for it, which kind of sucks. So um, this one's exactly the same, just free. And it works absolutely fine. So you want to go into that. And up here, uh, you can look at all the stuff if you want to. But then up here, it should say install. You just click on that and confirm it and wait for it all to install. So what you want to do is after it's installed, I think... Uh, it's safe to just restart your springboard. That's what I would do. You don't have to, but I don't know. Actually, I don't think you need to, but just if you are if you have any problems with it, I recommend that you do restart it. So after that, you should have this one up here. Well, so this one up here, the NES ADX Plus. Uh, these ones are different ones that you can also get. Uh, GB for iPhone. That one's good. That one's for playing Game Boy Color games. And then GBS for iPhones for, for playing Game Boy Advance games. So you can get those ones as well. And um, yeah, so that's, that's how you get it. That's all you need to do on your actual iPod. Now to move on to what you need to do on your, what you need to do on the computer. So on the computer, what you need to download is a program called Cyberduck. I'll have a link in the description for that. Uh, this is just an OS, uh, OSSH, I think that's what it's called, program. And so um, when you go in, you should get this, um, this here. So what you want to do is you want to go to um, Add down here. You want to go to, I'm just going to delete my original one. You want to go to Add. Then you want to give it a nickname. Um, 
I don't know, just make the nickname, actually, yeah, the nickname, can, I'm just going to make it the name of my iPod, so the name of my iPod's go to zero, and then for username, you put root, uh, double O-T, oh, wait, I forgot something, pause that, pause what we're doing there, and go back into this, and go back into Cydia. Sorry, you do need to go back into CDR. So after doing that, you need to go into CDR. If we load, and then just cancel up on this. Need that up there. Okay, then you want to go back to your search. Then you want to search for after this loads. I can't, I can't search while it's loading. You want to search. No, oh, sorry about this. There we go. You want to go up here and you want to search. Open. Open. Um, S. Oh wait, I'm just trying to remember what it's called. Open. Okay, let's just go double check to see what it's called because I'm not sure that I actually, I don't remember. Oh, manage. Back. Packages. Oh. Open SSH. Okay. So it's called this, open SSH. So all you're gonna do is you just wanna go into search and search for open, open SSH. So um, that, and then you just wanna install that. You wanna install that open SSH. Once that installed, uh, you won't have, you won't have any application in here in, um, so that's alert. You don't have any application in here. There's, there'll be no new application. So um, don't worry if there isn't one. It's not meant to have one. So after you've installed that, you'll go back into this. And you'll give it the nickname, Gubzu, or whatever your iPod's called. And up here you want to change this FTP file transfer protocol to SFTP, SSH file transfer protocol. So you want to change it to that. You want to make your server your IP address, which if you go into your settings, you can find, just go into settings. And then if you click on this arrow, it's the first one here, up the top here. So the IP address, that's the, your that's what you're going to put in for the server, so I'll put in mine. And then the end port needs to be 2-2. Two two. And yeah, and then you don't need to do any more of these options, so then you can just close that. You double click on the file on this here, and it should open straight up. Um, if it asks for a password, what you want to do is you want to put in Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, A-L-P-I-N-E, and um, when you put in that, that, um, that will work. So um, once you've come to this page here, you want to go click this up arrow thing here and just click that, and you want to go to mobile, media, ROMs. And then, since you've only you should have only installed NES ADX, you're just going to NES. And I've already got a few mods in here, um, ROMs in here. But what you want to do is you want to go download a mod from um, Cool Rom, uh, from this website here. So from this website, what you're going to do is you're just going to go to ROM files. Put your cursor over one files and go to. Um, oh, 
We'll just search for NES. Oh wait, I know one. Free ROMs. FreeRoms.com. This website. And then you just click on the NES here. It takes NES. And you can select like most popular, highest rated, and you can search all of the NES ROMs ever created, which is really, really cool. So I reckon for this video, we'll just uh, download the Super Mario Bros. So you just click on it, then click download, and it will start the download. Um, once you've downloaded it, it will pop up in here. Downloads folder. I'm just going to find it. Super. Mario Mario USA Japan this one here so um this is the one I've got so what you do is you just drag and drop it into into this so drag and drop and it will come up with a process so just go drag drop it says because I've already got it there it asked me if I want to override it I'm just gonna go yes I do and then it will come up with this little process thing. You can close that after it's done. And it should pop up in there. So now you're done with everything you need to do on the computer. So you can disconnect and close that. Close that. And now you can go in here. And I'm not sure if this is going to work. It might not work because of... Um, because I'm doing it on here. Um, so I'm just gonna cut the video here and I'll show you on our uh, camera. All right, see you guys in a second. Okay guys, I'm back um, on my iPod here. What you wanna do is you wanna go up into the app. And up the top here is New Super Mario Bros. You just wanna tap on it. And it should say loading game. See in a second. Um, if you have a Wii Remote, you can hook up your Wii Remote by just going here to Wemo and you just tap on and it should say searching for Wemo uh, when you've got your Wemo re remote just tap one and two at the same time and it will load patience actually just hang a second just need to do something nope that again um you want to go into search into the settings and then you just want to turn Wiimote on you'll say activating bluetooth and it'll say press one and two so press one and two on your Wii remote it will pop up up there keep loading nintendo rvl cnt or one there we go it's connected then it'll say click here when you're done syncing Okay, so you can do that, or you can just select no Wii Remote, which what a lot of you might have. So I'm just going to go with no Wii Remote for the time being. So um, then you'll just tap on the game, and you'll go into the game. You'll have the main control here. Sorry. Um, so then what you want to do is you just want to tap start, and then start again. And it will load here. Uh, it's hard to play um, while recording, but um, as you can see, it works absolutely fine. You can go all the way up to World 8. Um, but yeah, it's great. And then if you've got a Wii Remote connected, it's even better. Like, it's heaps easier to control. So, guys, that's it for this video. Please comment and subscribe if, you, if it helped you. Um... And give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys and see you guys later. See ya.